Welcome to your tour of Trent Hunter GPT. Now you can hunt hidden opportunities about almost any topic in any industry, especially if it's consumer facing. I'm gonna give you a couple examples, some best practices, and we're gonna go through a series of examples that do use client names, but what I have not done is looked at anything that a client has actually sent in terms of a request. So I'm just making some hypothetical examples up, and part of how Trent Hunter GPT is trained is to actually reference and think about the context of who's asking it. So we're gonna go through a series of fictitious examples Examples that I've made to give you an example of how everything turns out. All right, so let's dive in. You could ask for Bacardi, what are some non-alcoholic cocktails that would resonate with style conscious Gen X? For Mattel, what are some interactive toys in children aged 3 to 10? For Alienware, what are some trends in human computer interface? For Walmart, what are some surprising and delightful in-store experiences that would make shopping more engaging? For Danone, what are some packaging trends for yogurt and frozen snacks? We hunt away, it gets rocking and rolling. On the left, we can see real examples that are already on the website. So let's take a look here. Recyclable yogurt packaging pouches, got it. We've got a lot of examples there. And on the right, we've got an essay. One of the newest trends in yogurt packaging is the introduction of flavored freeform yogurt products, for example. Da -da 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 -da. Finally, paper-based yogurt cups are gaining popularity in the industry. Well, there we are, eco packaging, and that would be a real insight written by one of our humans. Functional yogurt, you can see the patterns it applies to. You can read any of these if you'd like, you can click in. So for example, actually if I click this example, I can open up that yogurt package and learn what it's about. I can see the trends, the themes, the stats, and dive deeper. See another related article of a real example. Here's an eco-minded yogurt pack, got it. Or I can go back to the essay that I've created. And the really cool part, the part I love the most, is that it creates actual products for you. So here we are, flavor free form yogurt, recyclable yogurt pouch, and sustainably sourced paper cups, got it. And we can actually take whatever these ideas are, collect them in a list if we'd like, but we can download a report, a packaging report. So here we are, we've got a 49 page PowerPoint report, a little summary up front. The first sections are consumer insights, which for us are the overlooked opportunities which represent clusters of real products in the world. I've got probiotic dessert and a homework question, functional yogurt and eco packaging. So when I look here at eco packaging, you can see I have general description, the trend, the insight, but then all of these are real examples that you could click into. I can see here it's based on 179,000 total clicks. These are the 11 featured examples, but there's 98 more you could dive into if you went to that URL. Um, these are the patterns it relates to, the megatrends it relates to, and the popularity, activity, freshness, and overall score of these examples. I flip to the next page and it's got a question for me. How is Danone incorporating sustainable packaging in the on-the-go yogurt and frozen yogurt? Okay, so that would be our workshop or discussion. Then we've got a whole bunch of specific examples that you can click through that are real things that are actually happening in the world. There's those recyclable yogurt pouches that we were looking at. And if I dive all the way down to the bottom of this section, I get my AI generated products. And if I wanna dive deeper into those, I can't, cause they don't exist. That image description and title uh, were created just now by your AI and Trend Hunter GPT. All right, I hope you've enjoyed your quick tour of Trend Hunter GPT. Now you can hunt hidden opportunities in any market. But the best thing of all is the ideas that you're seeing are created based on our real time data and analytics from analyzing half a million articles with 275 million people, billions of their choices, and not just the industry that you're in, but the other industries around it, surrounding the trend environment that impacts your consumer. So you get new ideas that are perhaps outside your lane, but reflecting in what's actually interesting to the end human being you're trying to create a product for. Enjoy.